Ela. Right. everyone. First things first, apologies for the state of my camera. Unfortunately it took a hit earlier on the day and it's got to crack down the lens. I was contemplating whether or not I can actually make use of this footage at all but I decided that because there were two really amazing moments in this video I had to use it. You'll know what they are when they happen. Anyway, on with the video. In this game my team, the Spetsnaz, have to assault four separate forts one after the other. The Joint Task Force have to defend them. Inside of each fort there's an explosive package that we have to arm, however there's a 20 second delay before it goes off, so once armed we have to defend them. That large wooden structure directly ahead of me is the first fort we have to take. Staying low here so I don't draw too much fire. The real danger however is that a lot of enemy players have got first strike rounds. Fortunately however, I'm about to be joined by a teammate of mine who's also got first strikes. Hello Scott. Okay, come here. Right. You see... On top of the star? No, no, to the right of the sandstone stack there, you see that corner uh, barricade? Yeah. Right in the corner there is an enemy who keeps occasionally popping his head up. Oh, he just dropped down. The enemy are moving into the wooden barricades to the right of the fort directly in front of us here. We need to clear them out so that we can advance. I think I might be able to vault over this mount of that uh, load of logs in front. Right. Myself and Tex are pushing up the middle at the moment. The problem is this field is extremely wide and the enemy have pushed out to the flanks. If we try and advance too fast we'll get hit in the sides. Our team is making a concentrated push on the left to try and reach the fort. With the left side more secure, we can afford to advance. I need to stay very tight into this barricade or else I'm going to get shot in the sides. Yellow guy has joined us in the middle here, however there's an enemy in the distance who's got him pinned down. I need to see if I can take him out.
standard 68 caliber round ball isn't going to cut it. He's too far away, and I don't have any magazines that will take first strike rounds. I do have some on me, but I've got no way to fire them. Time to improvise. Yep, I can see him. One first strike in the chamber, I need to make this shot count, and to make things more difficult, there's a strong wind, I need to wait for him to commit to shooting at my friend. Wait for it! Wait for it! YES! WHAT A SHOT! <laughs> I muzzle loaded a first strike and headshotted him! I will never be able to pull that off again. Uh, I think so, yes, we've got reds here. We've got reds. Oh, I am so happy. With the threat on the right contained for now, we can concentrate on the fortress on the left. It's getting close to the point where we're going to need to rush it again. The spring winder in this magazine is not working properly. It's got ammunition, but it's not feeding correctly. I need to swap it out. That smoke means that our team is about to make another push. I need to be ready to move to support them. The enemy fort is still packed with enemies and it's primed for a grenade. In order to do that though, I need to get closer. Here we go! I spoke with one of the enemy players that was inside that fort after the game. That grenade took out over 10 players. Holy shit, did I just get all of them? I think I did. With the fort relatively clear, now we can press right up to it. Is there anyone in there? The enemy is still spawning over the back side of the fort and they're to our right flank as well. We may have cleared the fort, but we're still taking a lot of fire. Across the way, Mike! You're Mike, here! Dirt mount! Straight ahead! You're here! Mike, dirt mount! Dirt mount! Dirt mount! Dirt mount. Haven't got the range on them. At least one of the enemies over there has got first strikes. We need to pull back around the corner. He's still off the link, he's out there, We've almost got this fort locked down. Unfortunately, however, my camera's about to die. However, after we destroyed this fort, we went on to destroy two more. Job well done. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Once again, apologies for the state of my camera. As you can see, it needs some serious repairs. Hopefully, I'll get that done in time for the next event, and I'll see you guys then.